with us this evening as candidates for the Village Board are Maria Abel and Sam Hare, and I will offer each of them the opportunity to take three minutes and make an opening statement, and we will start with Maria. Good evening, everyone. My name is Maria Abel. I'm a longtime fellow Morton Knight. Um, my heritage dates back to the 1930s here. I've owned and operated Nails Galore for 20 years here in Morton. I'm a member of the National Association of Women Business Owners, the Illinois State Rifle Association, and the NRA. I am I'm committed to staying involved and current with the activities of our local as well as our, as our state government. I believe that creating an environment where members of the community feel comfortable in voicing their concerns, opinions, objections, are paramount to effective communication community representation. In fact, it has been my privilege to be chosen by fellow Morton Knights on several occasions to voice their concerns, interest to the members of the village. These opportunities to represent and become more deeply involved in the affairs of our community has led me to run for village trustee. I have come to realize that we can be much more effective as a community if we hold true to the values that represent Morton. That is, we are a village that values family. We are a village that values community by showing one another that we care. And we are a village that, is, that values fiscal responsibility. These values make Morton special to so many people. It is what separates us from similar sized towns and attracts growth to our community. If we are to realize significant growth, and with it, opportunity to build on a thriving community, these values, I believe, must remain true. As a small business owner, I know the value of being fiscally responsible. I understand the importance and, of developing and implementing a budget that is realistic and flexible. As I become more involved in the village, I have stayed current with the board's activities and current expenditures. What I have observed and from what I hear from others that I have spoken to is that we may not always be following these values for growth. That is not progressive, but also measured responsible growth. Therefore, my role, as I see it, is clear. As an elected member of the village board, I will represent the interest and values of the community, but would do so with the sound fiscal management. Management that will allow us not only to grow in short term, but prosper in the coming years. I am committed to the future success of the village through honest, fair, transparent, responsible, and responsive representation of you. Thank you, Maria. Sam? Thank you. Good evening. I'm Sam Hare. I'm running for the village board, the two-year term. First, I want to take the opportunity to uh, thank the Morton Chamber of Commerce and its volunteers for making this evening possible. It's a, uh, it's a great thing to allow the community to get to know the candidates who are running for public office. I do want to take a little bit of time to tell you about myself. I am a proud product of the Morton Public School System and a graduate of the Morton High School. From there, I went on to Washington University in St. Louis, where I earned my degree in economics and history. My lovely wife of 10 years, who is here tonight, uh, we moved back to the area uh, in the fall of 2003 for the purpose of starting and raising a family in a safe and vibrant community. I'm proud to report that we have two awesome children, uh, Gabby who is eight and Sammy who is five. Currently, I am the Vice President of Sales for the Prairie Home Alliance. Uh, we are the, uh, one of the state's largest home improvement companies. And in June of last year, I was appointed by the current board president with the approval of the current trustees uh, to be a member of the Village Board. I, uh, uh, I accepted this very challenging position uh, 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 with, a, with a lot of, uh, with, I guess with a, uh, with a lot of uh, trepidation at first, uh, but then really engaged uh, and really found this opportunity um, uh, to be quite amazing. Uh, and I remember uh, uh, growing up that I have a strong desire to, uh, to serve the community in which I live. And that desire was really fostered by my mother, Barb Hare, who is here this evening. And that has led me to many opportunities uh, to gain leadership experience uh, and service roles. Uh, my wife and I serve on the board uh, for a special needs assistance program. It's called SNAP. It serves the needs of underprivileged uh, uh, special needs children. 
I've also had the pleasure of, uh, and, and been fortunate enough to serve on the board of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, where I've taken the lead uh, in fundraising events to bring uh, nationally recognized speakers like Kurt Warner to the Central Illinois region, where we've raised tens of thousands of dollars uh, for this ministry. Uh, my professional career and service work has given me the ability to solve very complex problems in an efficient manner with the ability to look at all of the different uh, decisions and options that are there with all of their downstream effects. And this is one of my strengths. Uh, my education background and my professional background make me a firm believer in capitalism. Because I believe in capitalism, I'm a strong believer in competition. Whether we want to believe it or not, businesses compete, charities compete, and yes, communities compete against each other. I believe at the local level, village residents, local businesses, and the local uh, government all play a role in this competition. So what I'm asking for you tonight is to, uh, is to ensure that, uh, uh, that you vote for me, that Morton will be a place that uh, our children will consider raising their families uh, when their opportunity comes. Thank you, Sam. Uh, the first question, we'll go back to you, Sam, and it's, what is the greatest challenge facing our village, and how would you overcome that challenge? Um, I think one of, the, uh, uh, one of the biggest challenges that we're facing right now is actually one of our biggest opportunities, uh, and that is the plaza. Um, uh, as I see it right now, this is an incredible opportunity uh, to bring the, uh, the village together to, uh, uh, to make sure that a memorial is, uh, is built in place for our veterans and a great place for families to, uh, uh, to come together and to, uh, uh, to spend time together. And it's just, it has a potential of being a great, a great changer for the downtown. Thank you, Sam. Maria? Um, the challenges that are facing Morton right now is police, fire, and rescue, infrastructure, business retention, and development. Um, once the, the election's over and us trustees get appointed by the mayor of responsibility, therefore we will meet with those department heads and then go forward on what needs to be dealt with. Thank you. Uh, the next question goes to Maria first. What role do you think our village should play in economic, community, and tourism development? open-minded approach. Thank you. Sam? Um, the, the, the village board to me can, uh, can be involved and show leadership, uh, uh, can be supportive uh, of the tourism departments and the EDC, um, while at the same time um, making sure that the, uh, that the taxpayers' dollars are cared for uh, but can be utilized and invested to grow that so that other services can be provided. Thank you. Uh, this one, we'll go back to you, Sam, and uh, you've already answered this question, but uh, Maria hasn't, so we'll, but we'll start with you. Are you in support of the proposed downtown plaza? Why or why not? Without a doubt. Uh, I'm a firm believer in the, the potential of the plaza and what it can do for our community. Thank you. Maria? I uh, totally support the plaza with all due respect to the Veterans Memorial. Thank you. The next question is, are you in support of the proposed tourism development strategy that would include the private development of an indoor water park and family entertainment complex in Morton? Why or why not? And we will start with Maria. Yes, I would because it is a private development. So I definitely would be um, in favor of it. Sam? Sure. Um, in, in that part of it, it, it could be a wonderful opportunity. Obviously, I think we have some incredible um, planning commissions and uh, city employees that can oversee uh, those opportunities with private development. Um, there are a lot of things that, that could be positive, but there are also uh, things that uh, that might not be great for the community as a whole. Uh, so as long as the private development was able to, uh, to be open with us and let us know what their plans were, uh, I would be all for it in a responsible way. Thank you. Uh, this will go back to Sam first. 
Uh, if elected, what will be your top three priorities when it comes to the direction of the village of Morton? And we have a little extra time, so I'm going to give each of you a minute to answer okay. this. Um, uh, the first uh, priority would, uh, would actually, uh, I'd like to see the fruition of the plaza. Um, that is uh, definitely um, uh, uh, my number one priority to, um, uh, to see that happen. Uh, the second priority would be to continue uh, to foster and develop relationships uh, with existing businesses and trying to bring more businesses uh, into the Morton community. Um, it's, it's very important that we uh, broaden our, uh, our tax base uh, to make sure that we can continue to pri uh, provide the services and the infrastructure uh, that the citizens are looking for. Thank you, Sam. Maria? Well, basically Sam summed it up. The same thing would be the plaza. Um, the next one would be the infrastructure and then the growth and development in Wharton and the support of it. So. Thank you. Uh, we will uh, move to the closing now. And uh, Maria and Sam, if you would share with us in 30 seconds why someone should vote for you. Maria? As a woman who owns and operates a small business for many years, I believe that I will bring a fresh perspective to the board. I am seeking this position in no pretense or special interest, rather an informed, concerned citizen who truly cares about the well-being and prosperity of Morton. I wish to represent all Morton Knights and do so with integrity, common sense, and fiscal responsibility. I would be honored to be your voice of choice in April. Thank you, Maria. Sam? Yeah, I, I believe that I can, uh, I can help uh, Morton continue to show leadership uh, in the Central Illinois region. Uh, we are a community that is a, uh, a desirable place to live and own a business. And this is something uh, uh, where we can continue to grow this effort and, again, ensure that this is a community and a place uh, that our children will consider uh, when raising their families. Thank you, Sam. Please join me in thanking the candidates for this.